Hello, this is Eric Wamsley, Systems Engineer with Nutanix. Today's video is going to go over the process of converting an existing ESXi cluster over to AHV. This is going to be an in-place conversion with very minimal downtime. You can see I'm logged into vCenter here, and I've got a couple VMs and a four-node cluster, and all of these hosts are running ESXi 6.7, as you can see here. But all our actual tasks are going to be performed over in Prism. So you need to log into Prism Element for your Nutanix cluster, and then go to the gear icon, which is the settings menu up on the top right. And you can see we're running AOS 5.16.1. Over on the left, just click on Convert Cluster, select your hypervisor, which in this case is going to be AHV. Change your power state and what you want to happen when the cluster is completed. I'm going to say preserve power state. And if you hover over requirements, you can see that we have a couple different prereqs before you can successfully do the conversion. The main one is NGT must be installed on all your guest VMs. You want to have your LACP disabled and that you at least have one network adapter configured on all hosts that has access to the same networking ports. Also, don't forget that HA and DRS inside of your vCenter cluster must be enabled. I believe I've done all those things, so I'm going to go ahead and hit validate. And then you type in your vCenter IP address to confirm it with Prism. And then hit yes. And it'll run a validation script, which will take a couple minutes. I'm going to speed that up. But basically what this is doing is it's looking to make sure that all the prerequisites are met and that it feels like the cluster is in a healthy state can withstand putting host in maintenance mode, doing the migrations, and that it has all the required software. Of course, now that it's finished, it looks like I missed something. We need to disable admission control, which makes sense. We don't want to have the cluster blocking us from shutting down hosts and things like that. So if you go back over to vCenter real quick, select your cluster, go to configure, then hit vSphere availability, and then click the edit button on the top right. Go to Admission Control, select the drop down, and do Disabled. Then go ahead and hit OK. Give the cluster a moment to reconfigure itself, and then we'll go back to Prism, and I'm just going to rerun the checks. The read validation is complete. You can see there's a couple of warnings. It is saying that I don't have the virtual machine mobility drivers installed which is not true. I do have uh, NGT installed and all the associated drivers and plugins and things like that. I believe this is popping up just because I'm actually running an older version of NGT since I'm using an older image from another lab. So I'm gonna go ahead and ignore those warnings and just hit convert, say yes. And then you can see we've got the conversion process has started. And we'll give it a second here and it's going to bring us to some progress bars so we can see the overall process and what steps it's on. And through the entire process, it does keep us updated of each and every host and virtual machine of what's going on. So we'll be able to see what's going on there. And you can actually see it's already put in a host and maintenance mode and it truly is starting the process. Just so you can see some of the steps, you'll see it does hypervisor info, images the host, boots into the installer, installs the CVM, and then it'll finish the host and move on to the next one. A little bit more than halfway through, you can see three of our hosts are unavailable in vCenter, and I've got three VMs left. Back into Prism Element, you can see the progress. And then if we go and look at our virtual machines, we can see that they're all there, and which hosts they're on and all that good stuff. Now the process is complete. You can see now it's asking us if we want to convert it back to ESXi, so to AHV. On the home screen, you can see our hypervisor is AHV for all four of our nodes, and the cluster is in a healthy state, and our virtual machines are running. If we actually look at the tasks, you can see all the tasks that occurred, the host, the VMs, and the overall process was just under two hours for four nodes. Uh, even if we had more VMs, it would have taken about the same amount of time. And speaking of VMs, they're all still there. They're running all our AHV hosts. And if we go back to vCenter, you can see that all four of our hosts are now unavailable 
and the four VMs that are left would be the CVMs, but obviously they're unavailable as well, so they're disconnected. But the conversion process is complete. We're now running AHV in our cluster. We did an in-place upgrade.